Hello everyone, this is Taz from 19 and welcome back to Let's Play Spongebob Movie Game. In the last video, we started our journey to Shell City. Yeah, Shell City! By driving a power wagon, which got stolen by us. So, um, yeah, now we have to travel by foot. What fun. And I'm close to getting another upgrade, Joy of Joys. Mm -mm. There we go. Ugh, the... I'm a little itchy right by my nose, right underneath it. Okay, and I thought we were going to be done with this level, but we're not, so I overextended the video without really having to. It's fine, whatever. I don't really care. It, it's fun. It doesn't matter. And, oh, we do get the flowing block challenge introduced here. Huh? Patrick? All right, this is the last of the three different challenges. The floating block challenge. This is essentially a platformer with a bunch of moving blocks that move in various different ways. And we can also get various different kinds of blocks. The first one's kind of simple, just sticking to the standard blocks with simple movement patterns. And in this first one, they are definitely spaced out. Also notice, however, you have a time limit to complete these, so you can't dilly-dally and yeah, every time you die, the timer does not reset, meaning you really have to be able to play this properly. And if you want to collect the extras, well, that's even more time you have to use up. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. I wanted that. Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. I did not see where I was going. Alright, and the timer does not reset, so I just lost about 45 seconds. Oh well, I got the extra, I should be able to get through this fairly quickly, it's only the first one. The later ones become real difficult though, let me tell ya. These are not exactly easy challenges later on, but at least they keep them relatively simple for the first one, which I appreciate. The first one should never be too taxing. Oh, and there are checkpoints, like I did mention. And of course, they do get... And I can get an upgrade, but we should do this first. <laughs> I left my mouse on the screen, and now I have to stare at it all the time. These blocks spin to try and disorient your jump before you jump. Just be a little careful about that, and it won't be that hard. These ones constantly spin, look at that. So much fun. Oh... And these ones do a little flipperoo. And they're getting tougher. Jumping, jumper, jumper, oh, if I, if I want to get the 10, I have to wait. But it was worth it. Oh gosh, I forgot this actually happens in the first one. Whew. Oh, there are ice cubes now. These ones shrink. Oh, and we get a nice little effect here, and oh, this is when the music gets really good. Look, I'm gonna shut up. How much of a man do I have to be? The music in these challenges are really good. Really, really good. I love it. But now it's time to move on. We're still so far away from Shell City. How is 3,000 miles a five day trip in a car? I never, I never gauged it. Let's see. I guess, yeah. If you move at about 60 miles an hour, that's about 600 miles per 10 hours. My, you traveled far. You were just spawning, how in the world did that hit me? I think this area only happens once in the game. And then afterwards you can't do it again. Oh, I forgot to upgrade. Whoops. Alright, in a bit. There we go. 
What sounds like a computer? What is that sound? Is it a... Did I... Um... The music just glitched. I saw something. A secret! The Patrick gets steamed, Tascom. I need to bring Patrick here. Alright. Why why the music glitch? Um that's kinda weird. Unfortunately. Ow! Stop it! Oh! Gosh, they do make you slip this early in the game. Wow. Okay then. Why would you want a bucket helmet? That doesn't sound very aesthetically pleasing on your head. I personally prefer my Tails hat, because it's adorable. Alright, let's turn into Patrick. And let's upgrade his health. There! Now I'm satisfied. Oh boy! Another grabby bag! Oh, there we go! The music's back! No thanks. All right, let's do this. Uh, wait, did you say something? Oh, that's just a teleport box note. Okay. What wrinkles, Patrick? How old are you? Oh wait, wait a minute. Okay, I can go now. Oh boy. Whoa! Timing's a little strict, isn't it? Very strict, whoa! But I made it, it's fine. And that's actually all the Goofy Goober tokens in the stage. I found them all! That's kinda nice. Still missing a chest though, but hey, I did better than I thought I would in this. Okay, now let's actually get back to the task at hand. Oh! A high SpongeBob. I'm seeing things I don't think I've ever seen before, and I love it! I love seeing that kind of stuff. Okay. Back to SpongeBob. No! You do? But you just got out. Any reason I need to hit three of these? Whatever. Time for a funny cutscene. <laughs> Who's laughing now? The whole thing broke. Cool. And that's the stage. I missed one thing. That's not too bad. All right, rub a dub dub's lip slide in the tub. Yeah, we know how there were slide segments about for Bikini Bottom. This one has full stages dedicated to it. Well, Sea Mountain was kind of that, actually. I found one last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. The last of Plankton's propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Oh, breathtakingly evil. These tracks form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kind of hard. Don't worry, guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any Plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Mindy. Didn't you bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? What train? Oh, okay, I, I get what you're talking about. Yay! So we're going to find targets and destroy towers, and yeah, the music is very rocking. Maybe it's off of the movie game and likes to emphasize its action. 
Because movie v versions of shows are always more action-packed. And kind of like Sam Mountain, these tracks determine whether a single jump will suffice or if you need to do a double jump, which is kind of nice. It's fair, but honestly, wouldn't you want to, for the most part, double jump anyway? I know, Patrick, they're irresistible. I want to get that chest. Wait, 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 how do I get up there? I might have to do a little looping. Which you can do. Also, yeah, there are various stage hazards throughout. These slide stages are honestly very fun. We can bring forth one, in my opinion, are probably some of the hardest challenges in the game. Gosh darn it. I guess so, SpongeBob. You got a point there. Oh no, sand is coming from nowhere. <laughs> from nowhere, of course. The worst place is nowhere. I wonder if I should have gone down there. I don't know. It's too late anyway. Whoop, whoop. There we go. I want to check out my chests there are, but at the same time, I don't want to halt the music. Because I'm enjoying the music so much. I forgot how good the music in this game can be. I really did, it's been so long. This is kind of a nostalgia trip for me. While I played Battle for Bikini Bottom first, I also played this game at an extremely young age. So of course I have nostalgic feelings towards it. Oh boy, that was close. Whoa! Ice cream, cream war! Uh. Oh, this is fun. But where am I going? Why are there enemies here? Those guys are pretty stupid to be wandering around here. Oh! I love the various ways these towers get destroyed. There's a lot of charms, but ooh. Should I go this way? I might get something good for it. Or was this where I had to go? <gasps> Oof, that was incorrect! Okay, I'm not dead, but I don't think I've been this way yet. Oh, I'm lost! Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, hi! Hey! This is, This doesn't look familiar to me at all, actually. Oh! Oh my gosh, I did not plan that! But seriously, where the heck am I? Where am I? I don't even know where this is! Uh, um, wait, excuse me? What? Okay. I don't know how I suddenly got here. I knew you guys could do it. Okay. Here's your reward. That's fine. Oh, I just ended up in a path I wasn't familiar with, and I still somehow found my way to the end. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert. But Plankton remains one stubby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, ruthless killer named Dennis. Fortunately, SpongeBob and Patrick have discovered the paddy wagon in a parking lot. But the key is missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. Bubble blowing baby hunt. Uh, what are the rules? Um, oh gosh, um, 
Also, I'm saying, 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 You've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. My flop is the mightiest flop of all! It's called the Smash. Mother of Pearl! Mindy! In the air? Yes. You have to be in the air for the Smash to work. You can use it to press buttons, break through floors, and even defeat enemies. The paddy wagon is parked outside, but you'll need to get the key back to use it. That doesn't sound hard. You'll probably have to defeat all of the thugs to get to it. That sounds hard. <laughs> you can do it, I know you can. Well, if you believe in me, then I can do it. Darn video cable. Wasn't this bad when playing Resident Evil 2? What happened? Okay, there. The key to the paddy, to the wagon. paddy wagon! Careful! Easy. You got it! <laughs> Seriously, I hope Mindy's father wasn't around during that entire conversation. Oh boy, she'd get it otherwise. Ooh boy. You can't be a princess with such foul You can't become the queen if you're just gonna be such a foul mouther. Um Wow. I must have never explored two hours because I don't remember most of these. Or maybe it's just because I haven't played in too long, so I just don't remember it. Ooh, those guys got a lot of manly points. How much of a man do I have to be? Enough to enjoy this rocking music, which I'm wondering if... I don't think it would sound too out of place on a Sonic game, would it? I'm just listening to this rocking tune. I want to upgrade that as soon as possible. I'll, up -wheel, I'll upgrade the cartwheel later. I feel like upgrading the ground pound is a little more useful. Overall, ooh. We can get a lot of points here. Yes! That is what I am talking about! Oh. Oh, the key. Why is the voice acting perfectly fine in the in-game cutscenes? <laughs> they don't sound that good in the um, slideshow cutscenes. <laughs> oh, I'm so close to getting that upgrade. How nice. Let me grab out my way through. Thank you. Let's be a little careful there. Uh, I forgot. Is there something good down here? Not necessarily. Ow. Oh! Good, good. Let's upgrade this now. I really want to upgrade it. There. Now it will have a nice range. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I also love how SpongeBob and Patrick's idle and movement animations vary based on the stage you're in. It's awesome. It's a nice attention to detail. Ouch, how dare you? How dare thee? But it doesn't matter because I have smited them. Stuff. Oh yeah, let's... Oh, okay. That's nothing special. <laughs> yep, I just want the combo, so I took the hit. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much I enjoy the music in this game. I really have. Uh, 
All right, let's go. Let's move ahead. Oh, this is so hard. Oh, oh, I gotta hurry, actually. Um, okay, there we go. I made it. Oh, shoot. Shoot! Okay, good. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh oh, yes, yes, this is exactly where I want it to be. Exactly where I want it to be. You see this awesome thing? You're gonna see what this is in the next video, and it's awesome. Until then, this has been Tailspin109, and have a nice day.